Hi everybody, how's everybody doing today? Um, had some things that I wanted to share with you. I am doing this um, Facebook Live in our group and I am also doing a video that I'll be able to create a YouTube link um, in case those of you that are not on social media so everybody can get this information. Um, first of all, happy December. I have wanted to make this video ever since December 1st, and um, here we are, December 6th already. I can't believe it. It's been a, been a busy month already so far, but lots of great things. Um, first little note that I want to pitch to you guys is um, Bill, our resident hero, has been spending time really mastering the QuickBooks for self-employed app, QuickBooks for self-employed app. Um, and he is going to be um, joining me when we do our tax meeting at the beginning of the year and do some training with you guys on how to, to really max out and utilize that app to the best um, possible, in the best possible way. Make sure you're not missing things um, for hopefully to help you a little bit get things together for 2018, but then to start 2019 really stewarding well um, your business expenses versus income and to make sure um, that you're not missing deductions and things like that. So um, be watching for that. That'll be sometime in January. I'm really excited about that. And that would be a great meeting um, if you do have um, an involved um, man in your life, um, you know, invite them to come with so that, or, or somebody that is kind of acts as your assistant or whoever helps you kind of with your financial stuff, that's going to be a really good meeting. So just wanted to pitch that to you, but I wanted to talk to you guys and I wanted to thank, um, Naomi Lynn. Uh, we, some of the things that I'm going to share with you today, the video for some reason, Monday night got the Facebook live got cut off. Um, so, but we, we got some great info from Naomi Lynn, our resident tech, uh, whiz. And so we're really, uh, uh, grateful for her and what she shared about the, my customers app. And, um, okay. So I wanted to talk to you guys about, uh, selling in December and your November results newsletter went out an email and was posted on in our group to, today. And that was full of great ideas. Um, I want to give you some ideas, but I want you to remember a couple of things that, can, first of all, a confused mind does nothing. Um, and, you know, if you have a big vision, run with it. If you need to make it a little bit more, um, you, you know, for whatever reason, bring it down a little bit smaller, that's okay too. So take the ideas, take a, one or two that you're like, you know what, that works for me in my situation. Um, do not compare yourself or... Uh, you know, if you have a bigger goal, we're super happy. We're going to cheer you on. If you have a smaller goal, you still can do so much for your family and, um, you know, create momentum that's going to follow you or, you know, lead you, I guess I should say into the new year. So you can't lose you guys, you can't lose. So, Hey, Kathy, my beautiful friend. So let me just share some ideas with you, but, and, and even before I do that, I want to back up for a minute and, um, I really highly suggest that you set a financial goal for the month. You really um, would consider doing that every month, but especially this month. You know, if you think of everything from dealers, department stores, Target, drug stores, th the cosmetic counter, the cosmetic aisle is going to be busy right up until Christmas Eve. And then right after Christmas Day, they're going to be back open again. Everything from people buying gifts for others. Um, purchasing just their own personal care, you know, makeup and skincare needs. Um, you know, the, they're, the retailers are going to be in business. So we are retailers. So so when we think like retailers, we will get the benefit of that. And, and I love Bill a lot of times gives me the analogy. If you think of like Dollar General or Walmart, you know, those are billion dollar companies that sell units a lot of them anywhere from a dollar five dollars ten dollars at a time so um just because you know if you have a small sale or several small sales steward that well you guys because um a lot of a, a little bit 
adds up and multiplies. And so um, just wanted to leave you with that thought as well. So I suggest you set a, a financial goal, a profit goal of, of what you would love to have in your hands, maybe by December 15th. Um, and then, so you take that profit goal and you times it times 2.5. And then that will give you your retail sales goal. And the reason you want to do that is so that you have the 60% of that will go to actually order the product or reorder what came off your shelf. And then 40% will be your profit. So let's just for easy math sake, let's say your goal is $1,000 profit. So you would times that times 2.5. So that would make your retail goal 2,500. Embrace those numbers. And again, you could do twice, three times that. You could do a fourth of that. That's totally up to you. But then you take that profit goal. So let's just say 2,500 and you break it down. You say, okay, I'm going to sell $100 25 times. And that's what you track because a tracked number grows. So you literally write down on a piece of paper, my profit goal is 1,000. My retail goal is 2,500. And then you number one through 25 and you just simply go to work um, selling $100 25 times, or $100 10 times, or $100 five times. Um, and if you need further information about that or, or need to talk through your specific goals, please reach out to me. That's what I'm here for. I'm your coach. I'm here to coach you to success. So um, so I really suggest that you have that financial goal. That's, that's a biggie because when you can see, you know, you 60, 40 your money as it comes in, and you can see, you can, you know, see, you know, if you're a single woman, you can say, hey, this brought in four, five, six hundred dollars into my, my, my income this month. And this is what I allocated for Christmas presents, bills, put it in my savings account. You know, or if you are married and you can say to your husband, hey, I've got an extra four, five, six hundred thousand um, dollars here. It's December 15th. And, um, you know, do we need to put this towards Christmas presents or in the savings account? I mean, that's what then motivates us like, wow, my business is a sweet gig. I'm super grateful and I'm going to keep building this. Okay. So now that we have that, two more little things before I go into some Christmas ideas. Um, I, I also highly suggest that every month you always print out the new princess, uh, a new princess queen divish tracking sheet for yourself. Um, because, Again, a tracked number grows and there's there's three different levels and there's no quotas, you guys, but this gives you something to shoot for, something to aim for. Um, because, you know, if you're just kind of, well, whatever comes in, let's see what happens. And that's fine. I mean, you know, if you're kind of a hobby level, hob, hobby level or personal use consultant, that's totally your prerogative. But if you're like, you know what, I, I want to grow. I really want to steward this. I really want people to know that I'm in business and I'm serious. Um, it, you know, this, this will track you to growth that your princess queen diva, because it gives you a faces goal, um, a wholesale goal and a goal of sharing business information with people. And there's three different levels you can pick from. The princess level is, um, in the calendar month, five faces, one time that you share business information with somebody doesn't matter if they join or not. You're just giving them the information and letting them make a decision. And then $225 in wholesale orders, whether it's that's accumulated or, you know, if you're already active and you just place smaller orders that added up to the 225, you get one free Chroma, Chroma Fusion product from me. And then the queen level is 15 faces, 400 wholesale, could be accumulative, doesn't have to be all in one order, and three times that you share business information. And then um, the diva level is 30 faces, um, 600 in wholesale orders, can be accumulative, doesn't have to be done all at once, and 10 times that you share business information with somebody. Now, um, the magic of that is, oh, and the queen level, you get two Chroma Fusion products from me, the diva level, you get three Chroma Fusion products from me. So that's, that's fun, that's a way to build your either palette or build your inventory. Um, but you know, let's just say, let's say somebody says, well, what good is the princess level? That seems small to me. You know what? Somebody who does the princess level every single month at the end of a year, you're going to have 60 customers. 
you're going to have stayed active that whole year so easily being able to place whatever orders you needed to and service your customers quickly and you will have shared the business information with 12 people and so you will have started to build your team and build that skill of sharing so um you know pick pick your level but but every month you know just kind of look at what you have going on what works best for you and start filling in the names and because again attract number grows so we've got our profit goal we've got our retail sales goal we've got our tracking sheets so we've got all of those you know kind of our track to run on um to guide us so um let me and and let me take it one more one more step um is to say so what is our why what is our purpose what is our reason and that can be that can be so many different reasons but i think for many of us um it is to better our own financial situation and to be a blessing to our family and then to have overflow so that we can bless others. Um, but, but get really clear on that. What does that look like for you in your specific situation? Um, and again, reach out to me. I would love to have a coaching session with you either over the phone or in person um, and, and talk about that and really get that clear for you. So that's what I'm here for. Okay. So now that we have all of that in place, I just want to give you some ideas so on, on how to work this. And again, there's a lot of creative ideas in the newsletter that just went out. But number one is select, select people to be Santa's helpers for you. And basically what this is, is a silent hostess program, but you can call it silent uh, Santa's helpers. I know Michelle Kaznicki called it. The, she had several people elfing for her. I thought that was cute. Um, but offer hostess credit or offer, offer product credit for orders that they take for you. So get them loaded up with some lookbooks um, and get them loaded up with some sales tickets and samples. Use what you have um, or if you need to place a little sample supply order, you know, don't go spend a ton of money on that. Or if you need to reach out to me and make sure we get in your hands ASAP what you need, reach out to me. That's again, I'm here. Let me help you. So let me assist you to success. Okay, so um, lookbook sales tickets, show them how to fill out the sales ticket and how to, you know, get the whoever's making the purchase to fill out completely their name, address, all of that. So you've got that contact information of those people to follow up with. Um, and then give them some samples, preferably, you know, lipsticks, lip glosses. Um, you know, if you have a, a full size, even a full size pomegranate hand cream, that's a good one. Any fragrance samples or demos, those kind of things. Um, um, 3D, you know, those 3D packets. Um, but even if you have books and just a handful of samples and some sales tickets. Um, and then I would say that for every $100 in sales that they bring to you that you'll give them a $10 product credit, you know, or you could even do 15 or 20 depending on, you know, de depending on your situation and how you want to do it. But just think if you had 10 people even get you $100 in sales, that's $1,000 in sales, plus all those people to follow back up with. But again, if you don't have 10, do you have one? Do you have two, you know, trusted people that would kind of promote, you know, do you have out of town people that could elf for you out of town and either, you know, best case scenario, you have your website, which I highly recommend, um, you know, or they could text you, email, whatever. People can Venmo you money, Apple Pay, you know, we can run Visa, Master Discover, all of those things. So um, I love that idea. That's that's not hard. And you could put the books in samples, make it cute and like a holiday looking basket. Um, great, great, great. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, so the next one is utilizing this makeover contest that we have right now you guys the the the, the last day to submit pictures for the makeover contest is december 31st so definitely now is the time and again i think it's really all in how you ask and how um how you know just make it easy for them you know if they don't want to get together i mean some people want to get together friends right now for a makeup party and do their pictures and that would be super fun especially like teachers once they're out of school and those kind of things um but now is the time i'm i am easily booking makeovers um for this contest and that is just a really easy booking tool um, and just say, I want to get together. Let's get the, let's get a gorgeous look on you. You know, again, use what you have, um, start where you are, use what you have, um, and submit those pictures. 
and I submit the picture instead of um, leaving it up to them to post it on Instagram. You can submit the pictures through your InTouch site when you when that splash page comes up about the makeover contest. That's where you click on it and you can submit their picture. You need their name, their email, obviously a really good killer picture, and um, then their reason, wh what they liked best about their makeover experience. Okay, um, two people are going to win a grand prize trip of um trip to New York City with a thousand dollars spending cash and um if the con customer wins the consultant wins their own trip too and then a hundred people are going to win one hundred dollar visa gift cards so why not you guys um I mean it's it's an easy booking tool great way to just get together with people over the product and have fun um and so when you do those makeovers you want to have them fill out a profile card, flip it over, and on the back say, okay, who are you Santa for, first of all? And it could be, you know, children, brothers, sisters, whatever, you know, who are you? Because, you know, I'm here, I can, I can, let's talk right now, I can help you with um, getting some of those gifts taken care of. And then you say, who is your Santa, whether it's, um, you know, husband, boyfriend, mom, sister, you know, who's your Santa, get their name and number and say, what's your wish list? What would you love to get? And then that's an easy sale because you can go follow up with that and say, hey, I got together with your daughter. I got together with your, with your, um, you know, wife, with your girlfriend. I, I know exactly what she wants and I can gift wrap for free and deliver it. Um, what's your budget? We'll, we'll get you taken care of. Those are easy, easy sales. So, so the makeovers lead to on the spot sales, referrals um and um you know those wish list sales so great 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 okay ask everyone you see have you finished your holiday shopping this should be a permanent part of your vocabulary you'll be surprised how many people will respond no and be glad to have your help um, especially when they find out you gift wrap and deliver for free you may want to carry around a couple of smaller gift ideas and always have business cards and lookbooks on you. you. You want to have like a like a mobile office in your car where you have a box where you always keep lookbooks, always keep cards in case you run out um, in your purse or whatever. You can go, oh, let me run out to my car and get some, some sales tickets in a book. Um, don't forget to ask salespeople, gas station attendants, toll booth attendants. Um, convenience store workers, car dealership salespeople, anywhere where people work long hours and it's hard for them to get away for their shopping, you can be their their personal shopper, okay? Number three, carry a, um, actually this is number four because I put in the makeover thing, but here's another idea. Carry a basket of products with you wherever you go, deliveries, um, always have just some, some things that people can kind of dig through. And especially that's a great time, you know, if you have some, um, discontinued products or, you know, limited edition, former limited edition products, you know, have a sale basket and just turn that product into liquid cash. Um, ask personal friends, I'm sorry, contact husbands of customers, relatives, and friends. Um, and that goes back to the wish list. But even if you don't have wish lists, you know, who do you have a good rapport with that you could reach out to and say, hey, have you finished your Christmas shopping for so-and-so? And and even if, like, let's say a, a guy said, well, I'm, I'm getting her a piece of jewelry, say, oh, that's great. You know, I'd love to add an extra personal touch. I, and then, you know, you could get a, a romantic little pillow and merchandise the, you know, the product up really sweet, and really pretty as just an extra happy you know so hey like i said even small sale items add up and then that's another person that has your, hey marcy that has your product and your business card because you put your business card in every single gift so that's another person that has um mary Kay in their house and has your um, business card in their hand okay um do your own personal shopping, you know, really sit down and think, who am I shopping for? And is there something in the Mary Kay line that that person would really appreciate? Um, I think Bill was hinting around because he loves the um, high intensity sport, but he was like, hey, what's this cityscape for men all about? I need to smell that. That's supposed to be like the flagship premier cologne in your line for men. And so I'm like, 
he wants some cityscape for men for Christmas, you know, so I hopefully he's not going to watch this. Okay. Um, so your own personal shopping. Oh my gosh. The chroma fusion stuff, the, the, um, you know, everybody loves, you know, whatever cleanser in the line, your clear proof girls, you know, merchandising up a, a cleanser with the, um, skin vigorate brush of, of either repair or 3d and then giving them the packets of the rest of the line. You know, eye makeup remover, mascara and eyeliner, um, lipstick, lip liner, lip gloss. All of those are, are great, great things. Um, a, a, one of your compact minis with maybe a contour and a highlight or a contour and a, a blush. Um, I, you know, just, it, I could go on and on. I, you know, I always think of it this way. If I wasn't in Mary Kay, didn't use Mary Kay, what would I love from our line as a gift? What would I be super pumped? Our brush set, that is a gorgeous, um, or, or the travel bag, you know, so really think about who do you shop for and, um, what, what can you, how can you, you know, bless them and create reorders and clients that will follow you into the future, um, into the new year, um, set up one-on-one -on -one personal shopping appointments. So again, who do you know, maybe having a party or a gathering or whatever, they can't fit into their schedule. But the point is not for them to, the point is for you to make something easy for them to offer service. So you say, uh, you know, Hey, could I stop by for 20 minutes on your lunch hour or, um, you know, when you get home from work or over a cup of coffee and just kind of go through your list and I'll have some ideas for you. I gift wrap for free and I can deliver to back to you. Um, you know, let me be your personal shopper. I mean, what great, great. Okay. Um, we already talked about glamour sessions and be thinking, you know, be, be telling people, you know, are you going to be going to a lot of holiday parties? Do you have a New Year's Eve party? When we get together for your makeover session, wear, wear the shirt or dress or bring it um, so that we can really coordinate a beautiful look for those upcoming events, you guys. People are going to be, I'm telling you, they're going to be at the Dillard's counter. They're going to be, um, you know, looking to to have a beautiful look for all the photographs that are taken during the holidays, all of those kinds of things. And then plan now to hold parties between um after Christmas into New Year's Day, that that window right there. Um, a lot of times people will receive Visa gift cards and they can spend them with you, you guys. Um, so, you know, and again, that week you still, our companies, our marketing people are so brilliant, but that week you still can utilize the makeover contest. So, um, because again, that deadline is December 31st. So, so you'll be able to say, hey, let's, let's, let's kind of double this up. We'll, we'll have a gorgeous, we'll make a beautiful look for you for New Year's Eve and um, we'll get you into this contest. Okay. So hopefully this helps one last little, oh, I'm sorry, two, two last little things. I didn't want to make this super long um, is if you've already had an open house or you're going to have an open house, just remember that that's the beginning of your, you know, or the, um, the beginning of some momentum, whatever happens at that open house is not necessarily the whole story. So um, again, you know, it, call and, you know, once you invite everybody, then either reach out personally through text or calling. Hey, just want to remind you about my open house during the open house, be posting things. And then after the open house, no matter what the results were, and I know you got some of y'all have had some really great results. Um, then the the fortune is in the follow up. That's when you follow up. Hey, I hate you couldn't make it. Is there a time I can stop by and just kind of be your personal shopper? Um, and at that open house, you guys have the opportunity for people to sit down and either play in a little bit of product or or even have a full makeover. Make sure you have that set up. Um, and then, but it's not too late. It's never too late. Never too late. There's trunk shows and all kind of things going on right now. So it's never too late to do those kind of things. And it, and if you got to keep it simple, keep it simple. Use what you have, do what you can with what you have. Um, focus on what you do have and what you can do. And again, reach out to me. I've got stuff, you know, resources piled up to the ceiling that I would be more than happy to share with you. So don't think that you you know, don't allow, well, I don't have this or that. I, time is of the essence. Reach out to me. We will figure it out, girl. Okay. So, um, and then the last little thing is who do you know that, um, 
has that you do business with or somebody that you have a connection with that might be doing shopping for their um their staff okay and even if they're doing like a bonus or a turkey or whatever you know you could still say i would love to um provide an extra personal touch for each person so whether it's a satin hand set or a um, hand cream like you could do you can get a really cute mug at um, you know the dollar store and uh, merchandise it up with the hand cream and maybe put some cocoa mix and a candy cane in there and merchandise that up really cute again that's a sale and that's exposure that's Mary Kay product and your business card into that many more people's hands okay and collaborate like I have a friend who has a cleaning business she cleans houses and um, she she always makes up a sweet kind of loaded mug for each of her clients as a, just a little thank you and Merry Christmas and she's going to put one of our mini hand creams in each one and she wanted me to wrap it up real sweet with um, my business card. So, you know, think about who you can collaborate with too. Again, that's getting your word out for to lead you into 2019. Can you believe it? 2019. Oh my gosh. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, we have so much to look forward to. Our team is world-class and we're stronger than ever before. And I just have such an excited and joyful feeling about the new year and um, there's just so many great things to come and I, I love each and every one of you I'm so grateful for you um, I, I know sometimes this time of year can be really fun it can be joyful it can be hectic and stressful or it can even be painful for those of you that have um, lost loved ones or just are going through a difficult time so um, just know that you're you're cared for, you're prayed for, um, you're not alone, and I'm just praying for all of your your households to be filled with with provision and joy and peace. And um, I'm just I'm grateful. I'm grateful we get to do life together, and and the best is truly yet to be. Okay, so I love you guys. Any questions? You want to power up with me? Just reach out. Okay.